So, Sita with Puff Cuff here to just, you know, have a little conversation. So, I'm constantly getting the, what do you call it, the um, response from people that they feel, mainly women, they feel like they have to pull their hair tight and mainly women of color. So the more research in, in to Afro-American hair and Afro hair period, slavery, civil rights, all of that, it's become pretty clear that where we got this from. So pulling your hair tight came from the whole misconception that the only way you could be beautiful is if your hair is straight. Prior to all the different chemicals and things and um, tools that we have now and that have been developed through the years to make our hair appear straight or appear or keep or make it so it can maintain being straight, the way that um, our ancestors and our elders made themselves more palatable for their appearance more palatable for the white population was to pull their hair in order for it to appear straight. So women in the 1800s, what they would do is what we do now, they would wrap their hair around their heads, tie it down really tight and that would be a way for their hair to not have its natural coil kink texture, but it would appear to be straight. What we fail to realize is pulling our hair in order for it to appear to be straightened does not do anything other than cause hair damage. Hair thinning, alopecia, traction alopecia. So I'm telling you this because we have to stop with the idea that the only way that we can maintain a straight look is to pull our hair tight. That is not true. That's why I invented the puff cuff. You can get the straight look, you can get the tight look without causing damage without causing traction, without causing tension, and without pulling your hair. But you definitely have that same look. This is why I invented the puff cuff. I'm going to show you tomorrow how to get the tight look without pulling the out of your hair.